Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all having a great day and that you're all doing well. I had a feeling today would be a very, very, very interesting day. Here goes nothing. Swift, the global banking payment network, intends to integrate technology from R3, the DLT provider behind the Corda platform. Speaking on stage at the Paris FinTech Forum, Swift CEO Gottfried Liebrandt said, and I do quote, Later today, we are announcing integration with R3 at the event. Lee Brandt was on stage with Brad Garlinghouse, who is the CEO of Ripple, which has long coveted Swift's expansive banking network and often cites its aging architecture. In December of last year, R3 launched the Quarter Settler, an application aimed to facilitate global cryptocurrency payments with enterprise blockchains and which would use Ripple's XRP to begin with. R3 said XRP is the first globally recognized cryptocurrency to be supported by Settler, bringing the Corda and XRP ecosystems into closer alignment. Something of a reproachment considering Ripple and R3 were previously locked into a legal dispute. This just came out. This information is incredibly new, so there will be more information that follows with this later on. As you can see right now over here, price of XRP is going up because of the announcement. I think a lot of people haven't even heard of the specificity of this actually happening on ripple's website we see this uh post it says ripple and r3 team up with 12 banks to trial xrp for cross-border payments here we have another article these are actually from uh, like maybe a month or even like a couple of weeks ago and this is why everything is slowly adding up it says r3's new quarter app supports payments in xrp cryptocurrency here's another one that says uh r3's quarter new settlement layer now supports xrp and here's the actual thing from their website or their information that they have where payments that are happening between other networks are happening through the XRP network. Um, I will obviously bring you more information as it becomes available, but there has been an enormous amount of speculation for quite a long amount of time. I have not spoken about it simply because I uh, try not to speculate too heavy. It's more like I wait for the actual information to come out. But this has happened many times where Brad Garlinghouse has been on stage with the CEO of Swift or the head of Swift, and they have talked about the uh, future of payments together. And I did not think that that was uh, random that they just happened to always be on the same exact stage. Anyway, yeah, uh, that'll definitely do it for this video. I assume that as the day goes on, it will become a bit more interesting, especially as we have an uh, official announcement of this happening. Thank you all once again for watching and or listening. I do appreciate all of your support. As always, a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters. They are Vlad the Impaler, Gil Boa Snake, Rai Rai, Brandy Niels, L Doug, and Arthur Yaku. Thank you all very much for your generosity. And yeah, I will definitely talk to you all soon. See you.